Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Glad you could attend. Step inside the tent, movie maniacs, as we take a look at Alienated, which is a story about a couple who have been having troubles for quite a bit, but things just get escalated and problems even more arise in their relationship as there is the looming, pending, potential threat of an alien invasion that Nate thinks is definitely happening out there and Paige not so much. And we see how this further pushes these two away from each other and we see how the strange neighbor next door, Griffin, played by Taylor Negron, uh, <laughs> you know, how he gives some insight to Nate how things truly are and at the same time feeds some of Nate's paranoia. We see how all of these elements come together in the film Alienated. This is more of a film that's an exploration into relationship and couples and how people handle living with one another and being with one another and their quirks than it is about an alien invasion. While the cover may imply a little more sci-fi element to it, that is very sparse in here. What isn't sparse is the tension and the uh, problems that both Nate and Paige have. Now, Nate's played by George Cat, and George Cat was in House of Bodies. Uh, Jen Burry plays Paige, and man, the way these two banter, you would, you know, it would seem that they would be married for quite some time, but it also makes you question, wow, really, how did they get married in the first place. I mean, the Nate character played by George Cat really is heavy on the, hey, there's aliens and you need to take a look. And he really is focused on himself, it seems to be. And Paige, maybe some as well, but not as much. But the conflict these two have, the arguments they have, I will say at points, did get a bit exhausting. I was hoping for a little more, bit more alien and element in here. Now, that's not saying performances weren't great. Performances were fantastic by these two. Like I said, really felt that tension and chemistry between these two and finding that they just couldn't gel anymore and seeing how that uh, added paranoia of aliens affects that. And I, I liked that bit. I liked that exploration in it. Uh, Taylor uh, Negron, who was, uh, for me, I most remember him in Last Boy Scout as the, the villain there. There, uh, plays the Griffin character. Really quirky, odd character. Enjoyed him. They have you kind of questioning who maybe he really is. Uh, plus, he's also kind of the reality check for Nate in this film. And so, it is really about a relationship between two people and how they can grow apart or how there's things there that once the veil is pulled away and the initial puppy love wears off and the true love shows through shows you, you know, maybe there are people that who once thought they were uh, meant to be together shouldn't have been together. Uh, <laughs> again, the Nate character really was a bit grating at times, and their their arguments were exhausting. That's what most of the film is: is them debating and fighting back and forth with one another. Uh, and they were great fights, but they're also a bit exhausting and emotionally tiring as well. So that may turn some people off. So don't go into Alienated thinking you're going to get this uh, rather sci-fi invasion, uh, massive effects and things going on while this couple is having problems. But if you're looking for an interesting drama and exploration into couples, then you may want to check out Alienated. I will say too, with the ending, almost wish it hadn't ended the way it did. Uh, it, it, and... I'm not sure why, maybe because I was hoping it would go in a different direction than what it did, but the way it did, it, it felt in a little bit more uh, stereotype of where, you know, where a lot of these types of films where couples have a relationship problems go, and I was kind of hoping it to do it a little differently. So if you're looking for an interesting exploration into two people who just don't get along and it makes you wonder why they shouldn't have, should be together in the first place check out alienated it's more of a drama than anything sci-fi but it is an interesting script and i think those of you who like this type of film will enjoy it that'll about do it for us here for the final cut thank you so much for watching and until next time keep that ticket stub